In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create textures like this to use on your t-shirt print-on-demand designs. Let's go! So to begin, I'm going to open various files. I'm going to start with wood. That looks like stucco or cement. And some bricks. Now we're going to turn all these into textures that you can use in your designs. Let's start with wood. Now all these are going to have the same basic process. Go to image, mode, grayscale, so it immediately turns it black and white. Now you just go to colors, levels, and adjust the levels. There. So just line it up a little bit because we, we usually use a white full opacity. So that's pretty good. You can still see the grain of the wood. You see the lines of the planks. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and that's it. Now let's test it. Let's see what it looks like on the design. This, I just got this design off Pixabay just to test these out. So we're going to use the same process that we, as we did in the last video. Right click, add layer mask, white full opacity, add. Right click, copy. Make sure your layer mask is selected. Right click, edit, paste. And there you go. So that looks pretty good if you're going for the wood look. So let me control Z, control Z to undo that. Now let's try in this one. Same thing, go to image, mode, grayscale. Doesn't look like much of a difference, but trust me, it does work. Go to levels and do the same thing. Just adjust it to, to your liking. Actually, that looks, let me bring the dark side up a little bit. Go. That's really good right there. Okay. I click edit copy. Now let's apply it to our image just to see what it looks like. Edit paste. That looks really good. Now just for fun, let's take a look and see what the bricks look like. Image, mode, grayscale, colors, levels. Over a little bit. Don't know how long it's too good right there. There we go. It's even better. There it goes. I think that looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Okay. Right click, edit, copy. Right click, edit, paste. Uh, the, two, the other two look better, but that's how you create your own custom textures to create a dis distressed effect on an image or text or whatever you want to use it for. If this video helped you out, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.